Hello everybody, welcome back. We are playing some more Legends of Runeterra. We are playing some Caitlyn Gwen today with a splash of Vise, the most popular build. I played this deck a few weeks ago, uh, back when Kaiso was still running rampant. And after the patch, I wanted to come revisit this deck because it was one of my favorite decks during that patch. And it did pretty well for me. I ended up having about a 50% win rate, like just barely, barely more than a 50% win rate by the end of the patch. But over my first 40 games, I had like close to a 60% win rate with this deck, and so I want to see if we can kind of capture some of that magic, magic again, like, again. Excuse me. I only made one, or I guess I made two changes to this deck, to my most recent version. I caught Atrocity and just put in a second Commander Ledros. And then um, I cut Despair. There was one copy of Despair. And I cut that and put in a second Withering Wheel, just because there's so much aggro going around right now. I thought this would really, really, really help in those matchups, rather than just a one-of. And we already have so many ways of dealing with small units that I think we should be really favored in the aggro matchup. We have tons of stuff like 3 Vile Feast, 3 Mystic Shot, and 3 Piltover Peacemaker, right? Uh, the, obviously, the one of the really big cards in this deck is the Sting Officer. If we can start getting some Flash Bounds in their deck, it makes the matchup against aggro very favorable, I think. And so I think Withering Wheel would just help with that to help with the heal as well, rather than relying on, okay, turn two, play our unit. Don't block, because we need him to play, or we need him to get an attack or whatever, right? So I think this would be a really good change, for, at least for the current meta. As it's shaping out so far, I thought we'd give it a try and see how it goes. So I don't know how long, I guess, oh yeah, so this, um, I'm not sure how long this stream's going to be today, but look at this, we got into Diamond. So that's the, that's the first big announcement, two big announcements, finally got into Diamond. I, you've heard me rant before, I was really close to Masters, thought I was doing pretty well, Kaisis came along, really bad, I was at like plat 4 zero LP for way, way, way too long. And in like three days, I just, boom, instantly climbed to Diamond with, um, Sejuani Nar, and what was the video yesterday? Pirates. But Sejuani Nar is bonkers good. I almost wanted to upload another video of it today, but I did one just before the patch, so I, I skipped it. But seriously, guys, give Sejuani Nar uh, a try. I made a um, Substack article. If you guys want to read that, I can put it in the link in the description of the YouTube video. Uh, do we ever just keep Ferris Finance here, kind of go for the value plan? I don't think so. I think we'll pass and just look to find ways to kill Vagar. This is another matchup actually where maybe it's, pr it's pretty good to keep Despair in the deck because Darkness is really popular at the moment. Maybe we will keep Finance here then. He's kind of weak to Vile Feast, but it's like an extra look at a spell and it's also an early unit to deal with a Catalyzer, I suppose. Okay, this is actually really good. We're prone to Vile Feast for sure, but we can just play Sting Officer, the Vile Feast, whatever. Next turn if they play um, excuse me, if they play the Catalyzer, we can just play Piltover Peacemaker to take out the Catalyzer. Or Pogus deck, okay. That is one reason now that actually this deck might be pretty bad, is if Pogus decks are coming back into favor with so much darkness in the, in the meta. But yeah, so I wrote a Substack article about that Sejuani Nar deck. I have like a 67% win rate with it so far, and it feels really good. I think we just shoot it. I don't think we let, their, let them get their darkness up at all. Now it's the question of do we try to put some pressure on them? Hmm. Do we go aloof? I think we can make, get out with one more aloof turn. I think we'll just play Gwen. I don't want to die to another like Wild Feast or Pokey Stick with these guys. We're not putting any pressure on them yet. That eventually they're gonna start doing some stuff. Next turn we can like vengeance whatever they play. That Drayon Gwen is so good though, that's like, I'm really, really happy about this against Darkness matchup. Mm, okay, this isn't feeling so great. I'm really scared of a Mist's Call. I think we can just have to shoot Vagar. Which feels really bad if they have an answer, but we'll get another attack with Gwen, I think. Let's save Miss Dang it, that was the top card on their hand, too. Okay. Unlucky. I mean, not really unlucky. They probably were, like, you know, playing around that, but it's annoying. Really? I'm gonna take that block. Like, you're just gonna kill my quit anyways next turn. And so I'm just gonna take that. 
Because, I, I don't know. I can't kill him very easily there. And we might do something like that. Hmm. Now I kind of wish I'd saved that. It's kind of funny. Let's just play aloof. I think it's probably pretty important this timing. Nice. Scour to send. That's good. So one Vagar down, one Senna down. Pretty happy with that. That's not good. Uh, I don't think we can play Sting Office here. I think we have to hunt for another spell. Nice. Alright, we're getting there. This is definitely looking like a grindy matchup. What? Hold on a second. What? How are we ever supposed to beat that? That's so annoying. I guess I should have attacked that guy. That's kind of there. Okay. This is looking kind of brutal. <laughs> yeah, okay, 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 okay. We're never sticking a unit. <laughs> I smell rat. So close. Tough place okay, I'm kind of just slamming cards at this point. I don't think we're taking this one out, but yeah, okay, this is brutal. This is brutal. How could we tech for the darkness matchup? I think we probably put that copy of despair back in. I know, I know, it was only one game. But I'm thinking how many how many different decks is that gonna be really helpful against if we put an extra despair? Like that feels like a pretty solid card. And it's a little bit cheaper. So it makes it less punishing if they have a Mist's Call. And I don't think we ever keep Sting Officers against that matchup. Nice, TF Fizz, that's an interesting one. Okay. I actually really like this hand. I think we're gonna keep this full hand. I'm very happy with this hand. Despair is for something like Misfortune. I love having double Caitlyn hand. Oh, that's so good. Nice. That's really good for us. I mean, if they open attack, I still probably would have just buy off these dead. They get the Hollow Trigger, but like, I think we're kind of whatever. We can just play Caitlyn. And I doubt they'll be able to stop her here? I don't know what this deck specifically is, so they could do something like... I don't even know, actually. At the moment, we're not worried about Hollow Triggers. Two Hollow Triggers at this point is really good for them. But since we have a spider to block, um, I guess I have to worry about Fizz, that's kind of annoying. We're definitely going to have to plant a lot of Flash Bombs to stop Fizz. We have a lot of removal here, it's going to be difficult for them to do stuff, hopefully. Oh, interesting. That's pretty good for us, I think. Are we scared of Make It Rain? Maybe. So if we are, let's play this first. Piercing Darkness seems pretty solid here. I doubt they'll play anything bigger than 5 health unit. So we can kind of like, just use the healing, we don't have to worry about which unit we're shooting. Yeah, that's a bit annoying. I guess we'll just shoot it. I guess we could just pass as well, actually. That's not that bad. If they attack, then we can play play build over Peacemaker. Here's my calling card. I am scared of Mega Rain. I do not know if they play Mega Rain. So what if we just jam in and play aloof? What if we just play aloof first? No, that doesn't seem great. I think this is kind of like find a pass priority. Like, an I have Naka Goburos doesn't do anything to us here. We're getting a lot of flash bombs in the deck. Okay, okay, sorry, I'm, I forgot, I think I completely forgot one of my quote-unquote announcements. 
one we ranked up that's fun so 29 is really good i made the Substack article if you guys want to read that um and two i'm gonna i don't know how long this stream is going to be but i might be back on later today to stream around 1 p.m eastern time uh, i might be doing magic the gathering i might do a draft I think we're pretty happy for them to just take that face. A great engagement, but a joyous one. I don't think their hand could be very expensive, right? So they probably have like their best stuff in hand that they can use soon. Like it's not like a 12 mana car. So we can kind of just hopefully get rid of a threat here. I have Naku Boost. That's actually really good. That stuffs a lot of their card draw. Which is, I think, how we get through this game. If we can just outgrind them with our traps. Okay, that's actually kind of bad. We don't get to play our Sting Officer. We might take a hit here. And they didn't draw Flash Bomb. Sure, sure. That's fine. Okay, that's actually fine. Notified patrol to close in on this location. We'll prepare them a nice welcome. I like Shag of the Ban. I think it's a good card. Oh, that's interesting. Well, this is gonna die anyways, so... We're taking... 6 damage from Fizz. I think that's fine. I bet this is an atrocity deck, isn't it? So I'm doing this just to protect against atrocity. I don't. I would take the damage actually, and I don't want to play Kaylin to a make it rain or vile piece. That's why I'm not taking the free uh, triggers there. I think I'm just playing Conductor of the Mist here and get a pretty decent attack. Oh dang, that's actually really sick. Wow. Thank goodness I blocked. <laughs> Holy smokes, I haven't seen that card in months. Okay, that's really, really bad. Please hit Fizz with a trap. Okay, not good, not good, not good, not good. One, two, three. Are we just like dead to like a double make it rain? That's actually hilarious. Man, I was not expecting the Fizz Boo leader combo. How about that? And we can't even use despair like at all anymore. That's so funny. We desperately need to kill this fizz. Oh jeepers! I actually don't even want to shoot that with um piercing darkness because I want to plant traps so we can kill fizz. I guess we can go like this. The there. We'll find it. That gets the extra flash bombs in hand. And then we can just try to hit Aftershock on the Fizz to see if they have a spell. Because it maybe they, it fizzles the spell, but it makes it less likely that they can give Fizz elusive next round. Okay. Gloom Spawn's about as bad as I could have gotten. <laughs> nice, let's go. That's good, that's really good. And our Caitlyn's leveled. Okay. As long as I don't have another Fizz. And a spell. Wow, I'm getting really nervous about this match. I'm literally like, pounding my fists against each other, like, anxiously, um, fiddling. If they play anything but Fizz, we'll just shoot it with Piercing Darkness. Okay, 
We still die to a fizz spell, but we're not to like double make it right or anything now, or atrocity. Was this voice like sail if you can, swim if you must? Oh, heck yeah. Oh, baby. Oh, I thought that guy was on health. Okay. Um, we have one hollow trigger, right? We're fine for the moment. I didn't think developing really did much, but maybe we probably should have not been as scared of that. Oh dang. Okay. That goes back on our attack turn though, so we don't really care about that unless they have some weird Bilgewater or Shadow Isles landmark advancement. Which I don't particularly think they do. Oh, I can look at that. That's actually really cool. Four cards in hand. They didn't do much on their last turn, so they had like two jaws since then to find something. Oh my gosh, I thought that was lurking at first, but... Okay. Yeah, okay. Wow, we actually need to be really careful of something like a Chessie now with like a Snapjaw Swarm. How much mana do we have here? 12 mana. Okay, so we could go like... Ghastly Bane has an extra blocker. Despair to try to kill something if we need to, and still have two removals up, one for the landmark. <gasps> oh no! <laughs> oh no! They can't have two spells, they can't have two spells. They have to have three spells! We could we could just vengeance and- okay, 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 okay. <laughs> we're good, we're getting there, we're getting there. Let's go, okay, GG. That was a really cool deck concept by them, but... That was really funny. I'm glad we got that win. I think we- I would have been pretty upset if we lost that matchup. That's kind of interesting though. I haven't seen too many combo decks lately. Alright, on the climb, on the climb. Nasus is zillion, okay. We came prepared for this matchup. This is another opening hand I'm pretty happy about. I think we might pitch Pharaoh's Financier to look for one of our champions and Piltover Peacemaker because we just have so many similar effects. Yeah, okay, wow, that's actually really good. We're happy with that. Um, not bad, that's also a Nasus Zillion killer. We need to kind of race them down though, because once they level up, all our units get so debuffed, didn't nerfed. <laughs> Legos, that's a good one. We don't have any turn three plays, I suppose. It's kind of awkward. They probably want their first healing to die though, don't they? That's kind of awkward. Okay. We could kill it, but... I think we're just gonna shoot Zillion. Give the traps in the deck. Next turn play Gwen, then play Vi. That's kind of awkward. I never know how to play against Zillion, because I never want to let him level up. And like, if we kill the first one, they're only- ooh, 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 that's actually really tempting. Maybe he's just aloof and a, a champ. I think- I think that's the play. See, like, this is second Zillion, so they get more time bombs. But then, like, if we kill this one, then there's only one Zillion left in deck. Like, it just makes it so much easier to worry about them, but... It's just hard when they also- Nice. One Nasus down, one Zillion down. I'm happy with that. 
time bomb, sure. Yeah. yeah, that's interesting. I think we just take it. We can, excuse me, we can get a nice little attack here with the Loof Travelers next turn. But if we block, you would die the uh, time bomb. We can't buy Alphys because the spider would just die. So since we're not worried about our health, I'm like, Treasure Seeker, you can take your damage. Now it's just a question of Vi or Gwen. Vi or Gwen. Gwen or Vi. I really like Gwen. I think she's just a cooler champion, but Vi could kill Second Zillion. Maybe we should kill Second Zillion. Because he only needs to play one more time bomb to level up. They have to have a vengeance here or else. It just doesn't do much. Or else they like, can't stop uh, Vi very easily, I don't think. I haven't played this deck ever, so. I'm just trying to think of answers. Like, I guess like a quick scene could do it as well. I might not even attack with the Aloof Traveler because we have two flash bombs in the deck. And since they're not really going wide, okay, it's a card. That is certainly a card. Maybe we just kill that instead. Is that ever worth it? No, I don't think so. Let's just kill the champ. We can kill that later on. Again, maybe that's a misplay, but... Eight mana, so we could actually play Despair on a Diego and play our Gwen still. I'm fine with that trade. We got a Zillion and the Dragon out of our Vi. That's pretty okay, I think. What a strange, wonderful world. I don't know if it's coming across, but I feel groggy. I only just woke up, but... Oh, that's interesting. Well, they can't play anything meaningful this turn. So I guess this is this is a fine opportunity for Vile Feast. We technically like would have burnt one minute anyways. We can't react if they have another Glimpse Beyond, but then if they Glimpse Beyond, I doubt they'll get a unit down on board. Oh, hate spike! Holy smokes! Oh, it's only doing two damage. Okay, oof! I don't, I don't know. I thought that was the one that um. Killed our unit slash, uh, like Evelyn strike spell. Okay, we're fine. Yeah, that's a little bit annoying. We'll just keep our aloof travelers back then. Second loop's actually fantastic. We made it. Two zillions down and two nasses. Oh, quicksand's the only most expensive card they have. Wow. Okay. And in that case, sting officer is really good if they only have really cheap cards. Preservarium. Okay, getting rid of a chump blocker slash glimpse beyond fodder, all that stuff. And no quicksand, or at least at least got rid of one quicksand, so there's a good chance our sting officer can get in here. <laughs> yeah, that was a funny voice line. This looks pretty solid. This is like the kind of play I play this deck for. Oh, that poor little wisp was so cute. I'm a bit disappointed we didn't get a second champion here. Oh, that's fine. We'll just pass. We'll save the mana. No need to kill anything right now. They're probably going to start cycling through their flash bombs pretty quick, so I'd love to find a Caitlyn. Or another Gwen, because she's probably dead. Sure. Um, I don't think we pass. I think we'll just shoot this guy. Start putting the flash pumps in the deck. And I don't really want them to just end round. I do not want them to draw cards. We still got all four flash bombs, which is nice. I mean, our champions are gonna die. Or, like, our guys are gonna die, anyways. But it's like, I don't want to give them the buff. This is probably going to die to a flash bomb anyway. So it's fine, I think. We'll just take it. We'll wait to see if they play Nasus. We can despair. 
Okay. There's one thing, right? Like, a lot of people just play around the 6 mana threshold. That was really annoying. We actually, like, really need to find something soon. I guess we could just slam. Rex, that would have been good. Well, this is pretty solid. No, oh, I was gonna say, hold on a second, hold on a second. I think you forgot about the... Yeah, yeah. Oh, Siphoning Strike's brutal here. Okay. That's fine. I really need them to develop next turn because we can't put Vengeance on stack while they'll just have right negation and then we take like 10 damage from Nasus. Then it gets Spell Shield and that's really bad. Hmm. I was worried about like red students we slam our legos. They play a champ, but okay, mystic shot. That's something. Get some closer to the... we vengeance. If they respond, we can just um, mystic shot. Yeah, I imagine they have a good or whatever. That's fine. Wait, what? What's what's going on here? I'm confused. If we play Legos next turn, it rounds up. So to deal four, put him down to three, and then we'll have a Mystic Shot. Okay. Okay. Oh my gosh, okay. We'll just play our Withering well now. We're not doing nails with the mana. And it'll put them prone to flash bombs. The two flash ones left, I guess, right? Oh my gosh, it's hilarious. We still have two Mystic Shots in deck. If we can find something like... I'd be happy with another Conductor of the Mists, or a Ferris Financier, a... Um... Oh! Okay. Okay, okay. So now what do we do, though? Do we play Legos? Put them down to three. And they can have a whole turn of themselves. We're gonna play Ferris Fight and Seer. Look for like progress day. Ooh, ooh, ooh True Shop Barrage plus Mystic Shop puts them down to two. We'll have ten minute in hand. Ah, uh, okay, okay, well, okay, we'll do this, we'll do this. It's so sketch, I'm so nervous. I don't know if we're getting through this one. We can't afford to let them play. Nasus. Maybe we shouldn't play around Nasus, we already killed two Nasuses. So maybe that was a mistake. Hmm, this feels sketchy. Yeah, I don't know, maybe this wasn't right, but... We still, we still have a chance. If they don't have Atrocity, I'm not too worried at the moment. Okay. That's actually really dangerous, but we're still alive. Places. I can't believe I haven't hit those second flash bombs, by the way, that's kind of funny. Sure. Yeah. I don't know, I definitely misplayed that game. I just don't know how to play around anything. For example, should we ever kill those zillions? I don't want them to level up. But I guess we just shoot them once the second time bomb comes down instead of just killing them right away. And then, like, playing Ledros there. The odds weren't super great that they had a Nasus, right? Because they only had like two draws or whatever to find Nasus from the time we aloof travelered. 
And so I was like, okay, let's get our finisher on board. And then the next turn, I think we still lose if we play Legos over Fire's Finance here. I guess we could have gone True Shot Barrage or something. Okay, this is the matchup I was really excited to try out. Nice, I'm pretty happy with this hand. I'll just send back the Aloof Travelers. Perfect, wow, okay, you can't ask for much of a better hand. Uh, if I could have it, like, perfectly, perfectly my way, I'd probably swap out Ferris Financier for a Boisterous Host or a Sting Officer. Okay, we're definitely going to have to use Mystic Shot not, unfortunately. Or we can just, if they develop, we can play Ferris Financier. Ooh, brutal. Okay, we'll just play Ferris Financier then. That seems good. A third unit here is pretty brutal. Sure. That's better than like the uh, Legion Saboteur that would push like 3 damage, right? So still a lot of damage, which isn't great, but... On their next attack we should be able to kill a good chunk of their stuff. I'll be curious to see how they attack here. Okay, really? Okay, I'm pretty happy with that. Three times over. We did to put everything on stack, unfortunately. Like, they can fervor, right? Nice! Okay, I think we're pretty happy with how that goes. <clears throat> Excuse me, next time we can just play Gwen, and we're feeling pretty good. Huh, they have four mana and like nothing to do? Okay, that's fine. Uh, we can only do one thing here. So maybe it's just aloof. I think aloof is okay. It keeps up Mystic Shot. Gwen's just so good though. But Aloof could probably get rid of like one of their biggest threats. We'll try Aloof. I have Naku Bros. Okay, that's kind of fine. We'll have 8 mana next turn, so we could Piercing Darkness and Mystic Shot. Or we could like Sting Officer and Gwen. The thing is, since they're so unit based, this is about as best they can get, right? Like, even if these two are other units, they have to do something this turn to keep developing. Or else their open attack just isn't that threatening. Never lost a fair game. We'll sure. They didn't have forever last time, so I don't think they'd have it now. Mm, they got it, okay. Wow, that really sucks. It fizzles, okay. I don't- I didn't know that one fizzled. I guess- I guess it's fine to block here. Because this guy's probably dead to flash bombs anyway. Yeah, we definitely have to play one next turn. What are we dead to? Two cards that could kill us, they'd have to have like double decimate or decimate. Oof, okay. Uh, I think it's Pharaoh's Financier. We need to find another spell answer, like Shock Blast or something, that's fine. And then we can play Gwen for the heals. Zap. Ooh, that's not good. It's actually really annoying. If only he could see 
Can we still get the two healing though, I think? I don't think that shuffles anything, so the flash bombs should still be pretty close to the top of their deck. I'm gonna assume it's fervor. Interesting. We're still at six after this, so we'll be fine if they fervor. Sure. Remake. I'm feeling pretty good. If they develop against Shock Blast, if they open attack, oh please, it just fate. That's fine. That's actually fine. I'm really, 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 really happy we hit. Build our Peacemaker. <laughs> I want to become famous, play Path of Champions. Uh, Jeepers, this is kind of annoying. I guess we can we can do this first. If they have a third fervor, we can just thread the needle on our Ferris Financier. Nice. All right, now I'm feeling pretty good. Do we ever develop here? What's the punishment, right? They could have, like, if they have double decimate, we lose anyways. And none of their units... None of their units deal no direct damage except the Imperial Demolitionist, which we could interrupt with the Dead the Needle. Nice. Okay, how much damage are we pushing? 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. So I think we have to hit our Ledros here, and then we can win if they don't have any answers. Now they have to have... The only way they win is double decimate, right? And now they only have one action, so I think we're good to go. That's an answer. Sure. Nice, GG. GG. Every moment of this has been a joy. I, I love this deck so much. I don't know how great it is. It's probably not fantastic. I think it has like a 45% wood rate on Mastering Runeterra, but it is such a fun deck. I really want to play Ari Cannon again too, but I'm pretty sure that deck is also kinda not so great at the moment. Teemo Twisted Fate, is this the Pandemonium, Pandemonium deck? Yeah, Ari Cannon has a 40% win rate. Yikes, okay. Triple Vengeance, that Teemo is not getting anywhere. <laughs> uh, I think we're probably gonna need Gwen in this matchup. Uh, look at that, perfect, that's really good. They don't have the attack token on one, so we can kill Teemo with a Vile Feast. He's so cute. I love him in Legends of Runeterra. I don't really like him in League. <laughs> Is there- I guess we just file feast. We save the extra point of damage. Like, we kind of waste the heal, quote-unquote. But, we get the unit, we get to keep Mystic Shot, which is obviously more damage, so... I don't think it's ever worth it, I guess, to burn- to burn the Mystic Shot on Teemo. I don't think we really care about that. I think we play Gwen. If we play Financier, we're playing Financier Mystic Shot. We're still leaving two mana open for next turn, so I suppose that's fine. But why, why waste the burn spell? I think we can keep this in hand to take hit someone else. Don't touch, trash talk the Shoe Master. <laughs> yeah. Um. I don't know, it's not as tilting as, like, a lot of people, like, like despise Teemo in League. I don't hate him. Like, I, I don't love him, right? I just don't necessarily like him. But he's cool in Legends of Runeterra. One of the first decks I really, really grinded in Legends of Runeterra was, um, Caitlyn Teemo, full-on traps. 
Swindle, that's a cool card. I think that's a, one of my favorite cards from the expansion. I like that a lot. The, the Some of the champions I hate in League are like Vel'Koz and Xerath. I hate both of those. Um, both thematically and what they actually play like. Uh, and Twitch. I have no idea what Twitch does. I've never read his abilities, so I don't understand him. <laughs> I think we can just attack. I don't think we really get anything out of playing Ferris Finance here early. Let me just block with this dude. So we gain one life. So we don't do much. Then we play Reggie first. How do they punish us? I guess this makes it kind of awkward, because if they have, if they want to play a plunder card, it kind of delays them in action. I like Shock Blast a lot. Assembly Line's also really good, because we have lots of removal spells in hand, so I think we can just go with Assembly Line here. Also, Atrocity is not a bad call, because we have Legends in hand. Man, I was trying to get this guy to not be able to do that, that action. Fine. Okay, fine. Okay, here's an interesting call. We could... Shoot Powder Monkey, just to make them block with something else. I don't think that makes sense. We can just shoot the other thing with, the, with whatever spell. Withering Wheel is also a fantastic card in this matchup. It's just a one of right now, but I obviously just changed that earlier, so we'll see. I'm not worried about Twisted Fate yet. Another Swindle, interesting. Wait, hold on a second. What if they have double ledgers in hand now? That'd be pretty bad. That actually makes me really worried. They have probably a lot of... They probably have either Mystic Shot, Aftershock, or Withering Whale. So we can't let our Gwen take damage. I'll just block here. And I'll shoot Twisted Fate now. No need to take the damage. I think I've only ever played one game of Teemo in League, uh, like actually playing as him. Maybe like one or two in the casuals or whatever. That makes me think after Shock. So we're probably just going to open attack here. And I could level up Gwen, so it might make it difficult for them to kill her. Yeah, I'm pretty happy with that. That's fine. Nice! One stitch, at a time. one stitch at a time. I feel like I never left one. Never never level up one. But ah, oh, I love the artwork. I think that's like one of my favorite splash arts in the game. Sure. <laughs> you got it. A waltz for the lady. I know just the piece. How did you know? A waltz for the lady. Has there been cool kill Gwen? I wonder where they killed Gwen there. Didn't they have for four mana? Like, they burnt a mana if they have some other way to kill Gwen. Never lost a oh, that makes game. sense. Okay. Never lost a fair game. Aha. Yes, okay. What on earth is going on here, my guy? I really don't want to use this. TBH. I want to keep up burn. This is a weird matchup. I guess we're essentially pushing as much damage if we shoot him and then attack, right? Or like next turn, if we attack, we're pushing 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10 damage. If we shoot this. We'll see what they do first. Okay. Oh, that's a card. We do make sure we're keeping this up. What the heck is that, my guy? Okay. Okay. So we'll shoot here so our Caitlyn can get in. And unfortunately, we need to leave up Withering Whale. 
It's kind of whatever. Okay. What if we swing in here with everything? If they lose their Ledros, wherever they block. And they'll just block Caitlyn here, block one over here. So I think we're just better just planting the traps. These guys will be at one health anyways. Yeah, this is looking very dangerous. We still have a Pearson blocker though. Of course. Dang it, I wanted to hit that. I don't like that. What is that for? I don't like that. Rats. Rats, rats, rats. At least I don't have the pandemonium card. So we can just play our own Lejos. Blomp, blomp, for the little violins. Very cute, very fun. Oh my gosh. Are we just dead? They should attack. They're pushing a lot more damage if they attack with the ephemeral alive. Wow, we are like so close to dead. Wait, 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 hold on. How do we get out of this? Like this? This. Like this. Next turn we withering will and then attack with Ledros. No, they'll have their own Ledros. So how do we set up an open attack with Ledros? Maybe we can't. Wait, just like that? Okay. Oh my gosh. No! No! The time ran out! No! Ah, that's so annoying. Oopsies. 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 We'll ignore that one. <laughs> Alright, we'll play one more game and then I'm gonna have to call it a stream. That's so funny. Oopsies. Oh man, I can't believe that. That has like never ever ever happened to me. It's so rare that that happens to me. I usually play too fast, you know? I like rush my decisions, that's so funny. Oh my gosh, how embarrassing. Yeah, we should have just kind of like leave ourselves at one HP, I suppose. That's so funny. Okay. We're in this. Okay, haven't seen Husks in a while. I don't think we're too worried about this matchup. We'll keep this up for domination. Yeah, look at that hand. Oh my goodness. It's literally impossible for us to lose now. A 
Alright, we're cruising. Not worried about too much yet. Aloof's pretty solid. Spell shield, that's actually really annoying. We'll take our open attack. Okay. I don't think that's the end of the world. We're still fine. Next, we get in 5 damage. Where's the loof? If we loof, they get 1 unit. It's probably gonna be pretty chunky. And our we won't just we just won't put as much damage. I don't know, I don't really want them to get an Evelyn with spell shield, but this is pretty solid as well. We're putting so much pressure on them already. Bark beast, that's fine. I don't care about Bark Beast getting spell shield. We made it. Yay. But our stuff did it. Nice. And we got rid of a Hydra Vine. Wow, that's actually really good. Combination. Okay. That's pretty solid too. Not bad. That's pretty bad. We're gonna take a little bit of damage this turn, probably. Elusive? What the heck is this? Spell shield, quick attack, and elusive? Where's like augment? <laughs> and faded. Hmm. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, okay, okay. So how do we do this? Do we ever just play Gwen? Or just start gunning stuff down? I feel like Gwen's pretty good here. Because Evelyn's not transforming. So I'm pretty happy with Gwen. She'll go back to an 05. So an 0 oh, oh, okay. Yeah, that's fine. We'll just take this. Put this down to 1 HP for the traps. And that also gives us the Hallowed buff for Caitlyn and Gwen. Overwhelm? What are these keywords? My goodness. Okay. Stingos is actually so nice too. Uh, I don't think we can pass this up though. Nice. Since they're forced to react, I kind of want to kill this elusive to EH. We can kill this Evelyn too. Wait, 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 wait. Hold on. When you or an ally kill an ally pass. So we have to react like this. <laughs> kind of clunky, but we'll get there. Wow, I'm so glad I covered that second mystic shot. No way they have triple hate spike, right? Just ve rips vengeance, okay. We need to hit this husk. Oh, rats, okay. We try aloof again. Rats. That's actually really bad. Okay. Another leader desperately lose control. Nothing new. You dropped something. I dropped everything. Sun Caitlin's pretty nice too. Atrocity's gone. That's not bad. Yes, I bite. Caught on the trail. Ah, oh, rats. That's really annoying. 
Okay, she has a hollow trigger though, so we can probably just drop our sting officers. I really would like these traps to start hitting stuff. Oh my gosh, this is so bad, this is really bad. Viego. We haven't found our answers to Viego either. Regeneration is kind of annoying. Oh my gosh. Please! Oh wait, they're, they're not playing quick scan, so we're fine. Uh, she'll only be a 5 though, and he'll have spell shield. So I guess we just attack like this, right? Wow, this is really dangerous! Ah, <laughs> oh, file feast, brutal. Oh, that's a card. It's an awesome day for progress. We will be one mana short of Peacemaker Ruination next turn. Uh oh. That was hot. Why did that pop her spell shield? Oh, that's only for that round, right, right. That's not bad either. This Vega is going to level up very quickly. I said walk. Just kill me. Go away. Manners. Should we ever save this Caitlyn? Or should we just pop the spell shield so we can play Ruination next turn? I don't know. I think this is fine. I don't really think we need to keep the Caitlyn. She's not pushing much damage at this point until we get rid of this Viego and stuff. Don't waste my time. He's going to be very, very close to leveling, so if he doesn't die to this Ruination, I don't know if we win this game. They could also just have Atrocity. Oh, thank goodness. I think we're forced to play Ruination here. Yeah, uh, I'm kind of scared of that board. <laughs> Why the heck do they have Spell Shield? Oh my gosh, I'm so silly. Why did I not even notice that? Is it because... Was there another Spell Shield Husk? That's really bad. I'm throwing. Oh well. It was kind of an awkward game. We never hit our husks in anything in the earlier in the game. And that double hate spike was really annoying, but I mean I guess we're still alive. This is why I don't like Ledros as a finisher. You can never play him. It's like, there, there are always like so many opportunities where it's just like you're kind of like holding him in hand, right? I don't know. If they open attack Queen Vengeance or something. Aloof! My guy, you're just in time. Hmm. 
<laughs> no chastity on the 4-3. No chastity on the 4-3. Oh. That's fine. This is like keeping a prison blocker, I suppose, right? It's a card. And the Viego gone. Very interesting. What if we just get rid of their fearsome blocker? And then play Ledros next turn? Are we actually gonna win this? There's no way. What could we win with? A Ledros or Oh that's fine, that's really it doesn't really matter. That just makes me think like it's gonna be really hard for them to get a fearsome blocker. Uh we win with a Sting Officer. One Sting Officer left in deck. Okay. We'll sling Ledros, see what they got. No, the one possible here's some buckets I could have had. Next turn we'll have double vile piece though, and we're gonna just like, get a mystic shot. We have one mystic shot left in deck. Okay, this looks pretty okay. I'm happy with that. Oh my gosh, I don't like that. Oh my gosh, I don't like that at all. Uh, uh, ur. Block with Vide, the Hydra Vine. Block with the. Okay. Okay. Okay, okay, okay. So we got to go here, here. Here, here. Next turn, they don't have two blockers. And our spiders would get the win? Or can okay, the ledgers to win? <gasps> Did our spiders get the win? Let's go! What a game. Wow, okay everybody, thank you so much for watching. So we ended up going 3-3 three three with the deck. I'm definitely not sold that it's very good at the moment. It's just more like, it was my favorite deck last patch and I thought I'd give it a try again. It has some polarizing matchups, I guess. Especially with stuff like Darkness running around, I don't think we're very good into. But I think we're, we could have a pretty solid time against aggro decks. Um, we have so many removals, so many traps, so much healing, that I think it could be pretty good. But um, let me know what you guys think. I really want to find a good Gwen deck. I really enjoyed this one. So I figured I'd give it a good try after hitting Diamond. If you're watching on Twitch, go check out my YouTube. I always upload the VODs in case you ever miss one. And if you're watching on YouTube, come hang out on Twitch. I love talking with you guys. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll catch you next time.